mode? Well, it's, you know, we do change it into practice gear, and so I guess that way it's a little different. We try to make it feel a little different. Um, you know, we don't go very long in the, in the fall, in the fall workouts. And, yeah, you can go a little bit longer, but I've never been one for real long, long grind out practices because we do a lot, you know, outside of practice uh, where guys, you know, want to be fresh to do skill work and, and development work. So, um, in a nutshell, though, it's not like the old days where you get to October 15th and you, you know you've never seen your team you got to teach them the layup line. These guys, you know, we're pretty far along for for this time of year. Obviously, a long way to go, though. But I mean, at this point with summer and these workouts and stuff, how, how do you feel about the team at this point? Well, you better love them now, because <laughs> <laughs> if you don't love them now, it could be a long six months. And the things I really like, though, uh, all can decide, is this is a competitive group, and that, that's a great place to start. They get after it, and they, you know, scrimmage and do some things, and I think that's a really, really good sign. I think we got some ability. We're going we're gonna to have a lot more balance, maybe, than we did last year, and, you know, there's pros and cons to both things, but... Um, I do like the, we got a lot of guys that can score the basketball. We talk a lot about chemistry, and sometimes just a couple of guys can leave and change the whole chemistry. Sure. How about this chemistry? Do you have any feel for well, it yet? It's a work in progress, and you know, we haven't really uh, put it together at all as far as, okay, this is the top seven, maybe this is top eight. You know, it's just been divided a lot uh, into positions, and you know, that stuff sorts itself out. I don't like to do that too early because it's a long season, and you know, a lot of practices to be really competitive. And generally speaking, if you take your top five, six, seven from the one team, it, it tends to skew the competition a little bit. So we keep them that way, you know, maybe for a couple more weeks. What's Roger bringing to the table? You know, he's got a, a sense of athleticism, and he's got that ability to get a rebound and go length on the floor and kind of create some stuff. You know, much like what Chandler did that way, where you know, Chandler was one of the top in the country in coast-to-coast -coast baskets. And Roderick's got a little bit of that ability, and uh, he's got a natural ability to score, and he's a great rebounder. What about Pat? Pat's got a savvy out there that, that's unique, and maybe that we haven't had here. You know, he has a feel for the game. And, can make other players better, but yet he can score and get in the lane and, and finish at a high level. So, you know, he's, he's in a process of learning the system, learning how to make other guys better. Because I think a lot of times when you take junior college players, they're used to go, I'll just go do it on my own. And, you know, that at this level, that's, that's pretty tough. Well, last night, uh, Chandler played his first preseason yeah. game. Uh, did you guys get together and watch it, or have the guys reacted to it at all? And uh, seeing, you know, a former teammate out there? Yeah, it's pretty neat. That was Zach and I talked about it a little bit. Uh, you know, it's it's interesting. It's fun to watch. I think it's harder for me to watch him in a Bulls uniform than it was in Boise State uniform because you know I probably watch him more as a fan, as a coach. But, uh, no, he looked like he was comfortable out there. He looked like he belongs out there. And, you know, that's that's the first step. What's the next step for Alex? Well, Alex, you know, like like I said in BJ Rain's article, uh, it, one of the things that he does is he has a natural ability to score the ball and he's kind of tricky. So a guy like that needs some freedom and you know to be able to do that and and with his role changing to be more of a scorer, you know, he's gonna he's gonna get that freedom a little bit more. And, you know, he's a he's a shot maker and he can make tough shots and, and I think that's what we're gonna see a lot more this year. You know, you mentioned the competitive nature of this group. I mean we've talked in the summer about kind of the chip on the shoulder and people not thinking you guys might not be as high. I know like the preseason poll hasn't come out yet, but do you do you still get that sense that this team is, is, is you know, maybe more than some other years really has something to prove? Absolutely. I mean, you look at some of the preseason magazines, you know, they pick us pretty low. And, you know, so I think these guys read those stuff and, and they understand that, they know. And so they, they should have a chip on their shoulder. You know, they are getting much respect and, they, and the good thing is they have to go and earn it. And they have to earn it here on the practice floor first. And, that's where it, that's where it starts to show up, and that's where we can get better. I know every coach though, like if the team's picked low, they say, "Oh, we're going to be better than that," or "Oh, we, we feel we can prove people wrong." But do you? It does seem like you really feel like this team's going to be better than some people think. Well, I think you know Boise State. We have a history of that, mm -hmm. and you look at it, every year but one, you know, we've finished higher than what we were picked. And so you know, I think this team hopefully will be no different, and hopefully they'll even have more of a chip on their shoulder about it. With uh, Chandler obviously leaving and uh, not having that aggressive drive to the basket type player, well, actually, you still do play. Sorry, <laughs> I'm struggling with my questions today. Yeah. Um, but you, so, who is going to fill that role of, you know, do we do expect?
fact that there's going to be more people that are being more aggressive? Well, I, I think we've got some guys that show that ability somewhat in practice. You know, it's so early that I can't really tell yet. Because sometimes when the lights come on, you see different things. And, and uh, you know, so as we go forward and get to scrimmage and get to you know, play an exhibition game, all those things, you can really learn a lot about your team. You know, you know, that's why some of those little early scrimmages, they don't seem like much, but now you start to get more a semblance of what can really happen. And it's hard to tell out of practice sometimes. What about rebounding? I mean, you guys were like near the top in terms of yeah. rebounding margin and things like that, and you lose. Chris and then a guy like Chandler who helped out so much too. How, where, where do you make up those rebounds? Well, that's a big concern for me, and that's always been a staple of our program. So that's the, that's what these guys under, have to understand is the guys that will rebound will get to play. And so, you know, I'll find out who those are, and we'll, we'll put a team out there that can rebound. It's common sense, but how, how big is rebounding to, to what you guys try to do? It's a big factor because it's what we've been good at. It's what we hang our hat on. And it's one of our identities of our program, and you know, and that's like I said that when I'm differentiating between two players, I'm going to lean to the guy that rebounds a little better. These guys know that; they've seen that over and over.